Determining relative size of an atom. Use the abridged periodic table above, this periodic table, to answer the following question. Which correctly lists atoms in order of increasing atomic radius? So this problem might seem hard, but we just have to remember the trends, the periodic trends that are associated with atomic radius. So here, usually this is called, sometimes called atomic size. So when you hear atomic size, you should think also atomic radius. So when we go from left to right, we decrease atomic radius because the, there are more protons at the same energy level, so it can attract those electrons closer to it. Okay, but also when you go from left to right, you when you go from right to left, you increase. So that's one part of the periodic trend. The other part is when we go down a group, we're going to increase. We're going to increase. So we're going to use all that information to try to determine how we're going to increase. So we know that in this direction, when we go from here to here, we're increasing. And when we go from here to here, we're also increasing. So we have to determine which one is the smallest. So here, actually, the smallest we have, number we have, is 2. Why is that? Because when we go from B, C, we know that every one in this period, in this period of the periodic table, is bigger than every one of the, every one of the elements in, the, in this period. Why? Because when we go down, all of them increase. So all of these elements down here are bigger than all of these elements up here. So we know that either 1 or 2 has to be the smallest one. And the smallest one between 1 and 2 is 2, because we know that when we go from left to right, we decrease. So that must mean it's the smallest one. So we have to start it with 2. So we know that A then is wrong, B is wrong, and so is E. So now we have to work with C and D. So we know that when we go from here, 2 to 1, we're actually increasing because that's what happens when you move from right to left to atomic radius. And now we can move on to the bigger guys here. Now, is it going to be 3 or 4 or 4 and 3? So remember that it we decrease as we go from left to right. So that must mean this one is smaller. 4 is smaller than 3. So the next one has to be 4. Then it can be 3 because we know when we go from right to left, it increases. So the correct order is 2, 1, 4, and 3. So D is the answer to this question.